So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest, which is kickboxing rules, fought at under 70 kilograms. I'm joined once again by Mr. Perfect, Ernesto, who's here for the commentary. Now this fight, Ernesto, yes. is a Senshi veteran in the blue corner here. He's a, yeah. he's a Bulgarian hero, Dragomir Petrov, 30 years of age. He's got a record inside the Senshi ring of 11 wins with only one loss. Two of, only two of those wins by knockout. Yeah. But Marian Lapashnianu from Romania, he's making his Senshi debut, but at 27 years of, old, uh, of age, very experienced. We've got the Bulgarian kickboxing champion fighting the Romanian kickboxing champion. Yeah, well, interesting to see uh, where G Bulgaria stands and where Romania stands. <laughs> well, nice sharp kick there from the Bulgarian. Now, it might be worth mentioning Marian Lepashnianu from Romania. He took this fight at very, very short notice okay. because the original opponent for Dragomir Petrov pulled out. But he's turned up here looking very confident. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he looks, he looks very experienced. And, um, sometimes it's better if you have a short... People think a short notice fight, um, you know, is dangerous. But sometimes if you get thrown in, yeah. you haven't got time to get nervous. Exactly. Like you have when, when you're festering over... You've signed a contract yeah. two months before. For you're sure. thinking about that opponent every sure. single day and night, every sure. time you train. Yeah. I fought Rob Kamen in two, three hours or four hours notice oh. <laughs> the first time. And then he beat me only on points while he was knocking out everybody. So Yeah. yeah. Which must have given you confidence back then. It did. Uh, uh, which, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. if these young guys can take something from that, yeah. that a loss can improve you. Yeah, a loss. Uh, mentally. A good loss can uh, for sure should improve you. So yeah. these guys here yeah. throwing Changing leather. leather. Yeah. Um, Exchanging leather. Yeah. But we've been critical tonight mm -hmm. about these kickboxers yeah. trying to throw big shots, yeah. single shots, instead of combinations and setting up setting up something with a power uh, a power technique on the end of it uh, a single shot in a, as a counter shot it's, it's it's great you know that's what i like myself My, but uh, but it's very difficult to to make a, a good shot just just like that yeah maybe yeah you know that first shot can be a feint get your get your opponent to move his head into a, a, an angle where you're going to throw that other that other shot or then or finish with a low kick yeah. both these guys though under 70 kilos both champions in their own countries and they're very they look very sharp yeah i think uh Dragomi looks a little bit sharper a little bit uh, more, more powerful com more composed more, more powerful But it's still beginning of the fight, so... Uh, yeah, condition will play a part. Exactly. Last 10 seconds of this first round. The Romanian looks super focused. Little clash, yeah. of heads, little clash of heads there at the end of that round. It looked like it, yeah. Yeah, interesting round. Uh, maybe Man. slightly uh, in favor of uh, Petrov, but... Man, you know, tonight the judging... Yeah. I always try and give my opinion, um, but the judging tonight has been difficult. Yeah, um, there were there were a, there were a few close fights. That's true. So it's interesting when you watch the replays. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see there a lovely left yeah. hook from the Romanian. Great, um, great move. But Petrov took it also very good. It looked like a hard move. Yeah. I think you're. I think you're probably right on that. Just inching it would be the exactly. blue corner. I'll give that 10-9 to Petrov. Yeah, me too. But two rounds to go. Yeah, it's pretty even fight. And that nice boxing there. Nice boxing defense from the Romanian Petrov there, throwing a couple of jabs, and uh, Lepashnianu there just comfortably parrying uh, them out the way. Countering very good now. 
with the right hand. Yeah, they both look. They 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 both are quite comfortable in in their boxing. But but it's kickboxing, and yeah. and it's a wasted opportunity if you if you land a couple of shots and mm -hmm. your and your opponent just steps one back, uh -huh. bang! You can land that low kick. That's for, yeah, that's true. But at the end of the day, the most the most knockouts will be made by the hands and not by the legs. So I kind of understand sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, unless you're Mirko Krokop, <laughs> but you beat him as well. I beat him three times. <laughs> only, only three times. <laughs> only three times, yeah. <laughs> three out of three. Not bad. Ah, uh, good move. That was nice. To the body, and then upstairs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very in, in, entertaining and, um, and good fight. Um, Petrov, I cannot say Petrov is, is, is easy ahead on points. They both do good. Yeah, it's anyone's fight. We, we're at halfway through yeah. the second round. It's anyone's and fight. It's true, you, yeah. you look at Petrov, there, he's, he's, um, he's got a high guard. Yeah. You could say he's open to the body, but maybe he's, uh, he's wary of the power of the Romanian in his hands. There oh, we go, a straight right what puts a great Petrov move. down. What a great move. That's exactly what I was saying there, but um, it went through the middle. Petrov is all over the place. I don't think he's going to recover. He's going to get counted out in this second round. And the Romanian at short notice has beaten oh, the Bulgarian. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see this one coming. No, nope, and actually that wasn't a single shot. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great shot. He threw a left hand yeah. and then wow, followed that it awesome. with that straight right, yeah. straight down the middle. Yeah. Straight. And Petrov well went down. And I don't think he still hasn't re fully recovered now. He's walking slowly back to his corner. I don't understand why his corner stays still out of the ring. Go to your, go yeah. to your, your, go to your, your man, fighter. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, at this moment, they don't just need physical support; they need mental support exactly. as well. You know, but they're standing like as if they disappointed. Well, as if they, as if they uh, are angry with him because he lost. Yeah, and you shouldn't do that as a, as a, as a, as a trainer, coach. Yeah, in my yeah opinion. good point. Very good point. Well, he looks very also disappointed. He uh, well, he's, uh, he's going to be disappointed. You know, Dragomir Petrov is a veteran here at Senchi. Yeah. 11 wins, but now two losses. And Lepashnianu there, Marian, from Romania, he came in at very, very short notice. And like we said, maybe he didn't have time to get uh, nervous yeah. and anxious. That can be a big, for, a big advantage. So that... But he came in confident, yeah. focused, and, well, uh, that was a great knockout. The first yeah. knockout of the evening, a straight right, put Petrov down, and he got counted out. And yeah. I'm sure now, taking the fight at short notice against a, a, a very formidable opponent, yeah. but Mani and Lepastiano, I think, has cemented a, 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 an invitation back to Senshi in yeah, the future. I think so. He is always a champion here. And, and I assume uh, that the Petrov wants to take a revenge. <laughs> He's I mean, now, I would like to. <laughs> for fight number seven, 